Hi, this is a beginner's tutorial for creating stylized textures in Substance Painter. So here is my low poly mesh with all the UVs done. And now I'm going to sculpt the details in for the normal map and then export that as a separate mesh. Drag the low poly mesh into Substance Painter and then in texture set settings select bake mesh maps. Play around with the frontal and rear distance and select bake selected textures. You probably have to do this a few times until your model looks good. Once the bake looks good, go to layers and select fill layer. And go down to base colour and select a darker colour. You can change this later. Adjust the roughness settings to the preference for your model. Create another fill layer and in the base colour select a colour that's slightly brighter and more saturated and warmer than the colour below. Scroll up to material and make sure you only have colour selected so that you're only affecting the base colour. Right click that fill layer and create a black mask. Right click the black mask and select add generator and in generator select mask editor. This is your edge highlights layer. You're going to have to play around with these settings yourself because it's quite specific to the model you're using and the style you want. So I wouldn't copy my settings exactly here. But I usually go for quite a high contrast to get those edges quite sharp. In the viewport up here, you can select base color so that you can see your texture without being influenced by the lighting in Substance Painter. I ended up deciding to make the highlights a bit brighter. You can adjust the opacity of the layer over here. And here you can select the blending mode like you would in Photoshop. I usually go for soft light for this layer. Create another fill layer, right click that fill layer and select add filter. And to filter select baked lighting stylized. Make sure any colour is selected again. And change the blending mode to soft light. Again you're going to want to mess around with these settings yourself for your own personal style and the preference in your mesh. I usually have the edge intensity on quite high. Go to sun and sky and you can start playing around with the lighting a bit more. Here you can change the direction of your lighting and you can also change the colour of your lighting. I personally like to pair two opposite or complementary colours, so a blue light and a orange sort of warm light. And your ground colour is like your bounce light. I usually pick a kind of warm grey to soften up the shadows a bit. You can go back to your original colours and play around with the roughness and base colour now you've got your lighting and edge highlights in. And if you just view the base colour, you can see we already have a pretty good base here considering we've only been making this texture for about 5 or 10 minutes. So now we're going to start doing some painting. Select the paintbrush icon to create a paint layer. I usually paint just viewing the base colour so that when I'm pressing P to get the eyedropper tool, it's not being affected by the lighting. On another paint layer, I'll start painting in shadows into those cracks and crevices in the wood grain. I've got it on another layer so I can change the opacity later so I can still paint with it quite intense so I can see what I'm doing. I also like to add in some big brush strokes at the base of the model in a darker colour to ground the model. For a more painterly style, make sure you're only rendering and giving more details to the parts where you want people to look. This is why I'm just adding in some highlights following the grooves of the model and the bends of the tree to give it some movement. This is important for the charm and the appeal of your model where you're not just adding in lots of generated maps in substance, you're making human creative decisions. Now I'm adding in some hue variation. I like to go for quite warm sort of pinky oranges on the highlights I really want to set out. And then I'll add some purples and greens to the shadows. I just like having a lot of hue variation in the model. And I just keep playing around with the opacity and the blending modes of the layers below. Go to File, Export Textures and you're done. And here it is just in an Unreal scene that I'd already made before. I think I changed the roughness a little bit, but this is pretty much just dragging those textures straight into a basic material. And I think it looks pretty good considering it takes about 20 to 30 minutes of texturing here, depending on how fast you paint. Thanks, bye!